Hey guys, so I just have a really quick video. I'm literally just chilling in my living room. Um, and I haven't gotten to doing this yet. Um, but I bought this like maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, it's my CVS discount haul. Um, I'm just going to go through the things and tell you what I spent on them. Um, this isn't something that you can go do right now. Um, it was, I think, pretty much just at my CVS. I mean, maybe other CVS were cleaning house as well. But it was like I walked in to my CVS and right as soon as you walked in, they had like a table with baskets full of makeup. And I, I was like, Whew. oh my gosh. You know, my husband's like, great. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. So um, I literally just bought everything that I wanted to get because it was all like really, really cheap. Um, the first thing that I got was the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper um, Brow Gel Mascara in Transparent. It was only $2.50 awesome deal. Um, I've been using, I got also another one in like, um, medium brown or something like that. I've been using that one. Um, and then I got these guys. Let me see if I get them all for you. Yes, I have all of them. All these were a dollar, a dollar. I thought that's some change. And these are the Kate Rimmel brand um eyeshadow crayon and i got them and well i think these two are the same um these are the four colors that i got and i will swatch these for you um they are similar to the milani ones um i'm not sure of the long wearing as compared to the milani because i know the milani ones are like really long wearing um this was the first one, which I was going to swatch them all, but I'll just do each one. Pure tur uh, Turquoise, a 103, and they were all a dollar each, so that was a really good deal. The next one is um, Electric Sapphire, and it says they're waterproof and um, Hydrofuge waterproof 24 hours, so they're claiming long wearing. They are definitely super creamy. This is the um, Electric Sapphire. The next one is Rose Gold. Ooh, this one's my jam. Who says that? Who says this is my jam anymore? I do, <laughs> apparently. And then Deep Amethyst. Oh, this one's really dark. Mind my nails. This is what happens when you go to work and you go to work so we'll leave those on throughout the video and see I'll let them dry a little bit and see um so the next thing that i got was a two pack of the rimmel london um waterproof scandalized mascara um this was 240 i have one out because i was giving one away in a swap but one was for me because i have so much mascara so i wanted to try it um you know what's funny most of my stuff is Rimmel. I mean, uh, yeah, Rimmel, but not all of it. The next thing that I got was from Rimmel London, and am I, like, lopsided? Was the brow kit in dark brown. It comes with the brow gel and a pencil. Um, this was only $2, and I haven't tried it yet. Obviously, it's still in its package, and I'll let you know what I think of that. And let's see. The next thing I got was... A two pack of this as well and I opened this as well and put the other one in the swap but it is a Rimmel London um, scandalized mascara curve alert um, two pack for two dollars and forty cents so pretty good deal the next thing I got I think that might be it for the Rimmel Maybelline Revlon yes okay so that was it for the Rimmel the next thing I got was a Revlon um, Desert Spice, what's the name of this? Uh, Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. It looks like this. Um, I will swatch it for you. So it's sheer, but it's got a tint. So. Oh. Smells like cherries and that was only two dollars the next thing i got was from maybelline um this is their oof, i could read 
this little print, it'll be a miracle. Um, color, elixir, and lilac, 105. This was $2.25. I will swatch that for you. <clears throat> their lip glosses so so that's really pretty oh oh that's got like a perfumey smell like a floral definitely floral so I have one two three things left what is this three things left I have two palette um quads from Neutrogena um Mink Brown and Smoky Steel. Oh my gosh, I cannot open it. Oh. Well, it would make sense if I cut the paper. I know I opened the uh, Smoky Steel first. Looks like this. Um, I will give you swatches on my finger. That's this one. Um, white is always patchy, I feel like, in most palettes, but the black um, shows up more pigmented than on the swatch. But that is the Smoky Steel, and that was $2.50. Um, that black, I don't want to come off. The next one, if I can get it open for you, is more browns. Get out. All right. And oh, that last one did not do very well. Hold on. And that's the mink um, brown one. Yeah. So the last thing in here, oh, don't fall, <laughs> is a bronzer from Revlon. It's Desert Bronze. This was $2. And if I could open you up. Apparently, I thought I prepared all these and I've missed a few. Awesome. Okay, there we go. And it looks like this. And um, I will swatch. I will try to swatch with my thumb here. And let's see, I don't. I don't like mixing, but so it's a decent bronze. See it right there. It's a little bit darker bronze, but I think that would be nice for contour. Um, The white shows up pretty well right below. Um, kind of maybe a highlight is what they're trying to go for. And that was $2. So that was my quick, oh, let's see, are these dry yet? My quick haul. So the Milani ones, you once they're dry, you can run your finger across them and they won't smudge. And it only takes like maybe three or four minutes. I could already tell you right now that these ones are not as good. But I mean, you're not going to be doing this to your eyes, but that's kind of disappointing. Yeah, that is kind of disappointing, but they're very pretty colors. So um, if you put a base down, I don't think like a powder base. I don't think they'll be as bad. So that's my little swatch arm for you. That is the tester. I mean, I don't know how many minutes officially it was, but anyways, like, subscribe, and share. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this was just my quick CVS haul. Always check your local CVS for any uh, deals or sales because they do them very often, especially when they're cleaning house and bringing in new makeup lines. All right. Bye guys.